Good morning, Bitfork High School. It is May 3rd. I'm Ryder. And I'm Jasmine. And this is NC Squared. Hey, where's Anna? Can you guys clean up those books like I asked? Oh, what's this? Whoa, 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 whoa a minute. I, no, no, no. That's mine. Stop, stop. No, it's mine. Stop. Uh. For sophomores interested in applying for the Leaders of Tomorrow program for the 2019-2020 school year, the application is due May 13th. 28 students will be chosen, so please see Mrs. Munson if you have any questions. Prom is coming up May 11th. Tickets are on sale for $15 per student, so be sure to purchase yours soon to partake in this year's Enchanted Prom. The FECC Running Start Advisor is here today, so be sure to sign up for the free summer experience program Our classes, or classes in the upcoming fall. Now let's take a look at this week's Conspiracy Theories with Elena and Callie. Welcome back to Elena and Callie's Creepy Conspiracy Theories. Do you believe Elvis Presley is still alive? No. Well. Many people believe that Elvis faked his own death in 1977 in order to enjoy a more relaxed, carefree life. <laughs> Do you think Elvis Presley is still alive? No. I think the question that we should be asking is, is Tupac still alive? Those are the important ones. Okay. Do you think that Elvis Presley is still alive? No. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. Wow. Elvis would only technically be 83 years old today. Yeah. But, I mean, there have been numerous sightings of Preston since his death. Is this true? No. <laughs> okay. Do you think Elvis Presley is still alive? No. Well, you're wrong. Because <laughs> Elvis Presley's full name is Elvis Eric Presley. But on his tombstone, it was spelled A-A-R-O-N, but it, actually it's just one A, A-R-O-N, so many fans believe they misspell it to hint at the fact that he's still alive to this day. Have I changed your mind? No. For why you're gone. <laughs> Do you think Elvis Presley is alive? No. Wow. You're wrong. <laughs> Do I have to keep going? Now let's send it out to Madigan Kinslow with the results of the student council elections. This year's 2019-2020 student body cabinet elections were incredibly close. Part of the reason is because of the fine students running for these very important positions. As the outgoing vice president of the student body, it is my profound pleasure to announce the winners of this year's election. For student body secretary, Isabella Sloan will be taking over for departing secretary Josephine Howlett. At Vice President to replace me and Rakaya Grande, we have two fine replacements in Addison Richner and Kylie Bradshaw. And finally, for the position of President of this fair school to replace outgoing senior Zoe Richner, the two nominees Josephine Howlett and Maya Hardig were both excellent choices. And I have personally known them from both speech and debate and journalism 
and know that either would do an amazing job for BHS. But your new school president for the 2019-2020 school year is Josephine Hallett. Today is Alex Broughton, Troy Sari, and Caitlin Griggs' birthday. And over the weekend, send birthday wishes to Quentin Kalbick and our very own Hannah Ritchie. Happy birthday! That's all we have. That's all announcements we have today, BHS from NC Square. I'm Ryder Nolan, and I'm Jasmine Gardner. And have a wonderful weekend, and please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance What's your name? Make sure to Justin Gardner. How did you say it? Justin <laughs> Gardner! Hey, where's Hannah? I don't know. Ready to go now. Okay. Oh, we got to go. Good morning, Bidford High School. Participate. Partake. 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 Anna, not Hannah. Whatever. Anna. Awesome. Anna. 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 No, we're going to run it. Okay, we're going to. Oh, oh. Please rise for the pledge. Bam. Yay!